Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm really sorry. The summer, it definitely got away from me. Between the feast and the band and the kids, I called my mother, I went, we haven't made a video all summer. So, today I'm here, I'm down the cake, and I'm gonna give you three amazing recipes. And the first one I'm gonna give you has been now declared my little Angelina's favorite recipe, which is chicken limon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everything ready, I'm gonna give you all the ingredients, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a fantastic chicken limon that your family is gonna love. Why cornstarch? Because it makes it gluten free. And it's better than flour, trust me. Heavily seasoned, salt, pepper, garlic powder. We have our bono olive oil. Love these guys. Shaka Sicily, big supporter of Live, Laugh, and Cook Italian, Fisherman's Feast of Boston. Seek it out, you won't be disappointed. Fresh parsley, garlic juice. I'll get to that later. Some butter, I don't know how much yet, we'll figure that out. Fresh lemons, cup of chicken broth, a salt and pepper, and of course, the chicken, right? I'm gonna cut these real quick. They're already clean, tendons are off, fat's off, right? Super easy, get right in the center. Remember, always run your knife parallel to the counter that you're cutting on, right? Right out the other end, see? Boom, nice, right? This is the part we have to tenderize. This is where all the tendons are, that are gonna make chicken tough. These bottom ones, you really don't need to hit them too much. Right, got my plastic wrap here. Always cover it with plastic wrap, this way your chicken doesn't fly around. As you can see, I'm having issues with the plastic wrap. Really? Okay, so, I got some new plastic wrap. You missed me throwing that plastic wrap across the kitchen, just, just, just so you know. So, here we are, plastic wrap, because you don't want your chicken flying all over the place. These first ones here, right? Don't be afraid to hit them with the dimples. You gotta break those tendons on top, because that's what makes this particular cut of the chicken on top really tough. Don't be afraid to hit it, right? These here, I'll, I'll gently hit them, just to size them up a little bit, right? But, there it is, okay, there you side up. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this and everything over to the pans and I'll meet you over there. Okay, at the stove. For me, big thing, organization. Having everything where I need, my lemon, my butter. You know, cut in half, this is what I'm gonna squeeze in. Those pieces are gonna go in, couple left for garnish, butter, parsley, everything's here on this side. My little, my little uh, dredging assembly line. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the, this is the searing pan. I'm gonna put that at half feet and let that go. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do, I can fall probably fit three. So, right in here, right, give it a tap on both sides, get your seasoned, Cornstarch on there, get your little excess off. So, I'm gonna let these sit here for a second. We're gonna get that pan nice and hot. And when I come back, there's gonna be magic happening. <laughs> okay, pan is hot. Watch this. Now, of course, the tin man, right? Gonna put a little bit of oil in. You know what oil's in there too. Only the best oil, right? I'm gonna take a little pat of butter. Drop that in, right? Guys, this is gonna make a mess. It, it is what it is, right? Because I told you, the garlic juice, I'll get to that. All right, you ready? Flavor in your pan seared chicken. Oh, a little garlic juice. Look at that. Now we're gonna pan sear some chicken right there. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Okay, here we are. Now, what you didn't see is I gave these a rotation halfway through. Oh, look at that, guys. That's what you, 
pan seared chicken wants to look like right there. That awesome, awesome crust on there. And now we're gonna give this a few minutes. If you're worried about temperature, and you want to stick a thermometer in the fattest part, 165 is your temperature for cooked chicken, just in case. Okay, two things happened while we were gone. One, I turned this pan on, medium low, and I flipped this around once. Aha, oh, look, beautiful. Okay, so in here, Right, with these three. And of course, I have two more pieces of chicken. Now, what I like to do right here, right, I'll take my pan, I'll get all the oil down to the bottom, I'll take a paper towel, I'll just wipe it off to get any of the sludge out of there, <laughs> right? Boom, in the sink, back on the fire, start again, right? I only got two pieces this time, so maybe not as much. Little Tin Man, a hey! little pat of butter, Where's my, there we go. All right, the rest of that, and a garlic juice. Nice, all right. And we're gonna do our last two pieces of chicken. They're gonna go in. And now, when these go in, I'm also gonna put my chicken broth. Oh, see, pan's hot, nice. And we're gonna get that nice and hot we'll be back okay so now this is either going to be two tablespoons or the juice of, of one whole lemon just as it starts to bubble your chicken broth get this in there nice nice all right and there you go and now we'll let that come back up to just when it starts to boil and we'll be back now, oh, look at that. Thing of beauty with the chicken right there. Oh, love that crust. Okay, now, this, just starting to bubble. So what we're gonna do is, I don't know, I'd say that's probably about three tablespoons. We're gonna start to thicken this, let that butter roll in. All right, and now, of course, you get the classic, my mother's wooden spoon. Your butter is going to thicken you up a little bit right here. And what I have right here is about a teaspoon of cornstarch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this and I'm going to make like a roux just to thicken this up just a little. Just a little. Don't add too much. Turn into gelatin in there, right? You'll see when we come back. Okay. Now that we're bubbling, our butter's melted. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. All right, our chicken's on our last leg. We're gonna give this just a little bit of fresh parsley. Here's that cornstarch with just a little bit of water, right? Now, when I say start with a little bit, just a little bit, couple of drops like that, and work it in and see how thick it gets, all right? Your own desired thickness. At this point, too, I'll probably take two lemon slices, throw them in there. Me, I want to be a little thicker, all right? Not even, the, not even the whole spoon right there. One more of those. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to shut our chicken off. All right, gonna keep that on long, and we're gonna incorporate. Hey, oh! My mother's gonna kill me for that. Let me tell you, all that juice I want in there. We're gonna let this bubble for just a minute. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna plate it, and we're gonna give you a final product. can't wait. Now, I did bring the fork and the knife, but guys, look, I gotta tell you, there's no knife needed. Mmm. Mmm. Do that again. Look. Right through, right in half, flaking apart, no knife needed. 
This is the no knife chicken Lamont. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope your family loves it as much as mine do. Don't forget, video description box, all the ingredients are listed there, everything I did, so you don't have to run and get that padded piece of paper. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this. And my mother's coming up, and I think we're going to be making muscles marinara next. So, join us. And don't forget to live, laugh, and cook Italian.